foe. Master game plan strategist and one of the original Iron Men to ever play this game. MMORPG, the master of the grind. No item is too rare for him. Roydy, hardcore Iron Man enthusiast, very talented PVMer. And Mr. Mammal. Together, we are farmers. But like, not the insurance company, you know? Well, now that I can catch Carambuans, I need to do the quests associated with it. Now, the actual requirement to catch them is Tai Bo Wanai Trio. Of course, you can't go directly to Tai Bo Wanai Trio, though. Uh, to do that quest, you need to first have completed Jungle Potion. So let's go do Jungle Potion. Okay, I think with this handed in, that should be the... Jungle Potion quest completed, gives us some free Herblore XP, which we love to see. And now we can do Taibo Wanai Trio. One of the required items for Taibo Wanai Trio is an Iron Spear or better, and my group is an absolute beast. Look at that. Steel Spear just hanging out, waiting for me. Now I don't have to get one as a drop. Or cook a Karambuan for a poison Karambuan. Be aware you may fail this. Oh no. <sighs> Well, I feel very glad that I got 65 fishing before doing this quest, because if I would have burnt that, I literally would have had to stop and go get the level, because this is the only way that you could get this. Okay, that was a lot of running around all over Karamja, but that is the Tai Bo Wanai Trio quest completed. You get a whole bunch of XP, and of course now we can catch Karambuans. Although I think I'm supposed to go talk to uh, his sons, because they'll give me more XP, I think. Well, now that I can catch Karambuans, I need to unlock Fairy Rings so I can realistically get back and forth to them. Now, I don't I don't literally need Fairy Rings, but yeah, I kind of do. So, that of course is going to require the completion of Fairy Tale Part 1. Requirements for Fairy Tale Part 1 is completion of Lost City and Nature Spirit. I think I'm going to start with Nature Spirit. Okay. It is time to kill some ghasts. I'm using the Rune Spear KP that I got from Taibo Wanai Trio. May it serve me well. Oh, we just hit a 7. I'm gaming. Alright, I think we just talked to the Nature Spirit now with my amulet on. Sorry. We talked to the Nature Spirit now and that is the quest completed. Beautiful. We get some crafting XP, hit points, defense XP... Very nice. Oh, 1 to 16 crafting off that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the next quest I need to do is the Lost City. The Lost City, however, requires level 31 crafting. I'm only 16 right now. I'm going to start off by doing Murder Mystery, as that gives some crafting XP. Alright, this will be the Murder Mystery quest wrapped up. This should give us... I think it's like 1.2k crafting XP, which is not a ton, but better than nothing. We go from level 15 up to level 19. Now, some more big crafting XP can be gained from Elemental Workshop. However, I don't quite have the mining level to do Elemental Workshop. So, to get my mining up, I'm going to go do the dig site. Alright, I am an absolute idiot. I just finished the dig site quest... Did my whole little speech, and I it turns out I wasn't recording, but... We finished Dig Site, and it gave us a ton of mining and Herblore XP. We are now 32 mining and 18 Herblore. <laughs> I actually can't believe I forgot to record. Uh, well, with our mining up, now we can go do uh, Elemental Workshop Part 1. Love how fast Elemental Workshop Part 1 is. Part 2 takes a little bit longer, but... There's part 1 completed, that gives us 5k crafting and 5k smithing XP. And on that note, let's go ahead and do... Uh, what's it called? I... Elemental Workshop Part 2, that's what we're doing next. I, I literally just did part 1 and I couldn't think of the name of it, like a second later, hello? Oh, baby, there is Elemental Workshop Part 2 completed, 7,500 crafting and smithing XP. So we are now 36 smithing and 32 crafting. And, of course, now that we're over 30 crafting, we can go do the Lost City quest. Sit the fuck down! 
Okay, let me chop my Draymond tree. I suppose we'll grab a few of them while we're at it. Just in case. I don't know how I would lose one. Actually, I think for Recipe for Disaster, you need a Draymond branch that hasn't been cut up. Like, you just leave it like that. So I'm gonna keep one. Actually, I want two of them. So, I want one of them to use to fight Koshay the Deathless in Fremnic Trials. And the other is for RFD. So I need, I need two of these, actually. Alright, I think when we enter Zanaris through the shack, that will be the Lost City quest completed. Indeed, indeed. Okay, now we can do Fairy Tale Part 1. Which, I'm a little afraid, because during Fairy Tale Part 1, you get this list of items you have to, to acquire, and it can be really bad. Okay, well, these wizards won't get off me, so... I'm literally... This this is the equivalent of, like... my Like... Calling my big brother to beat them up. Yeah, that's right. What now, you stupid dark wizards? Yeah, that's what I thought. Until one spawns and hits me, I better hurry up. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Okay, this is the guy that gives me the list of three items. This could either be okay or it could be terrible. Pair of secatures, a slimy eel, a bunch of grapes, and an uncut ruby. Okay, I don't know about a slimy eel, but the other two are easy. That's pretty good. I'm self-sufficient. Yes, I have an uncut ruby right there. Uh, and then Paul said he put some grapes in the storage. And then the slimy eel, I guess, is in the Lumbridge Swamp. Okay, there is a fishing icon down here. You need a net. Oh, bait. Here we go. This is, this has got to be it. I don't know what else it would be. Yeah. No, it's a cave eel. I need a slimy eel. Surely not the same. That's the one. Oh look, I have it set up instantaneously. <laughs> now we gotta flinch it. This is gonna take a while considering I am level 1 farming, but we'll get there. Slowly but surely. And there we go, there is Fairy Tail Part 1 completed. That gets us up to level 17 farming, so nice. Uh, now... In order to actually use the fairy rings, I do need to start part two as well. Alright, I think at this point, I have done enough of the quests that I have access to fairy uh, rings. Let's test it out by going to BJ's. Yep, we, we, we can go to BJ's island. Wait, what? It didn't work. Hold on. I hardly moved at all. Wait a minute. Wait, okay, have I not done enough of the quest? Here, I know DK's. Okay. Yeah, that's... weird. It looks like it's working. I don't know why the BJ's one didn't work, but uh, it looks like my fairy rings are working now. So, I've got access to fairy rings. I've done Taibo one I trio. I can catch Carambuans. I'm ready to go. The problem is, I need to cook them. Right now, I'm level 39 cooking, but I've got tons of fish in the bank from Temporos. Before I cook them, though, I would like to unlock the Hosidious range. The Hosidious range, uh, you have a 5% less chance to burn food. The problem is you have to get 100% Hosidious favor. Luckily, it's really easy. Well, to get started on our Piscarillius favor, we need to push the plow for an indeterminate amount of time. You just gain favor randomly when you push it, so we'll see how long this takes. Okay, so we are at 5% favor now. I'm gonna miss you, Mr. Plow. Now, I need to add saltpeter to my compost. And this was the slowest part of getting Hosidia's favor done. So you buy the compost packs from uh, pretty much any farming store in the game. And then, you have to collect this saltpeter by digging it up with a spade. It's relatively AFK, but it did take a couple of hours. So now, I need to combine this compost and the saltpeter. Now, I've done this before. So I think what you're supposed to do... ...is line them up vertically. And 
And then with these still in your inventory, then you withdraw the next 14. Then put these away. Yeah, and then they, they stay in that position. Okay, now we talk to the clerk and she will take it directly from my bank. And that should boost my host Sidious favor. All the way up to 100%. Hell yeah. And now we cook. I have so much raw fish from Temporos. I suppose I should start with the lowest level food. Uh, that'd be salmon, yeah? I suppose salmon. Um, I don't have cooking gauntlets, but with the boost from the clay ovens, I'm hoping I won't burn a whole lot. Fingers crossed. Okay, this is the last of the food I have to cook. I got to a higher level than I expected. I am level 62 cooking right now. And, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I did burn plenty of food, but hey, 62 cooking really ain't bad. And now we have 800 tuna, 400 lobsters, some swordfish. That's all fine and dandy, of course, but the big thing is now I can catch and cook some carambons. Okay, I caught 100 carambons real quick. I just want to cook them uh, for science sake, and we'll see how many we cook out of 100. Okay, so I burned... Well, kind of a lot of them. Let me look. I caught 104 carambuans and I burned 29 of them. So that's like, uh, like 25% maybe, which I guess isn't terrible. It's kind of bad though. Well, now that I know that I can catch food and provide for the boys, I want to continue questing and getting my stats up. Right now, my lowest combat stat, well, other than range, is defense and prayer. So I'm going to do the Holy Grail quest to get both of those up. Now, of course, a prerequisite for that is Merlin's Crystal. So that'll be up first. Before taking off to do those quests, I got hooked up with some very, very nice upgrades. So first and foremost, I got 125 Dragon Bones. Curtis has been catching Dragon Implings, and because of that, he's gotten Dragon Bones. He got that Amulet of Glory over there. And then Paul had an extra Rune Skim to give me. So... I still wanted to go do those quests, but now I got 125 dragon bones to use up to get my prayer up. Alright, there's Merlin's Crystal Dummy. Gets six quest points from that. <laughs> and we rocking the old Excalibur, beautiful. Oh, oh don't. Did he just go back to full health? No, I didn't kill him with the Excalibur. No. <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. I gotta do it all over again. You're kidding. Well, with me having to kill the Black Knight Titan twice, that uh, took a little longer than it should have. But there's the Holy Grail completed. Up to level 30 prayer and 32 defense. So, since Paul gave me those dragon bones earlier... I now need to go unlock the Ecto Functus to use them. So let's go do Ghost Ahoy. I mean, hey, it is it is Halloween season, isn't it? So fun fact about this one, I know when I was a kid, I like ran all over the town talking to everybody. You can literally just go back and forth and talk to two people. Like you just need two of them. You alternate who do you talk to, and they'll give you a different answer every time. It's that simple. I always forget, Ghost Ahoy is a, uh, a pretty lengthy quest, pretty girthy if you will, but there it is, it completed. And that of course gives us the Ecto file, which is a pretty handy telly. That gives us 2.4k prayer XP, and speaking of prayer, I am now going to go use those dragon bones I was given on the Ecto Functus, and that should give us 43 prayer. Holy guacamole, crushing those dragon bones took forever, but it's finally done, and now we can spam these and get some Omega Prayer XP. Look at those XP drops, dude. So good. Alright, and here they go. Put the last of these bones in, and there is level 43 prayer. We can now use all of the protection prayers. Love to see it. You know, I just realized that I did this entire quest without recording a single thing. Uh, I decided to go do the fight arena quest because it's easy peasy attack XP, and I don't know why I didn't do it before. Boom! 12k attack XP, 2k thieving XP, love to see it. Well, the reason why I got my attack up is I want my rune scimitar to be nice and accurate when I go fight Elvarg. I'd say Dragon Slayer would be a good quest to do right now. 
Uh, you can flinch the boss, so you don't need to, you know, have super high stats, and it would give me a bunch of defense XP, so... Dragon Slayer it is, baby. Ah, uh, this area in particular is super nostalgic for me. I just, I, I have a distinct memory of doing Melzar's Maze as a little kid. Now, of course, back then, you don't have the Quest Helper plugin telling you exactly what to kill. I, I think I just killed these things for, like, an hour, and I was like, they won't drop the key, but not knowing you just have to kill the specific one. I had no idea. Oh, baby. Here comes the big bad Elvark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I don't know how to flinch this thing. Do I just... I think I've seen it. It's just kind of like on the east wall, right? You just like run it over to the east wall and then you flinch it or something? Okay. Oh. How easy is that? Wicked. <laughs> How easy is that? Yeah, you guys are worried about nothing. It's fun. Shit! Let's go! That's a dead Elvarg. Yeah. There goes his head. There is Dragon Slayer 2 completed. That puts us up to 39 defense and 44 strength. Very the, nice. I thought Dragon Slayer 2 was the one with the big blue one. It is. Wait, did I say Dragon Slayer 2? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wish. And I think on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching it. These videos have been very fun to make so far, and I've been getting some great feedback. So, definitely going to keep them coming. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon.